Hi, this is J.R. Crooks for Money and Markets TV. I keep hearing financial commentators say, investors hate uncertainty. To me, that makes no sense. Without uncertainty, there would be no opportunity to profit in the markets. In fact, there would be no need for markets at all. The reason we buy and hold an asset is that we expect it to increase in value. If we guess better than the next guy, or some unforeseen event shakes out to our advantage, our position rises. If the opposite happens, it sinks. Either way, uncertainty is what moves the markets. But given that uncertainty, we can make some predictions about the macro themes that will set the tone in 2012. I believe one major driver of those themes will be debt liquidation, both voluntary and through default. And that liquidation, combined with slowing global demand and rising demand for cash, will cause deflation. So without further ado, my first prediction for 2012 is that the US dollar will surge. As you can see, the dollar has entered a long-term bull market, and it's due to rise sharply early in the year. However, the one event that could derail the bull market is another round of quantitative easing by the Federal Reserve. My second theme for 2012 is a contraction in China. The country's GDP growth is expected to slow to below 8% as its housing bubble bursts, social unrest spreads, and hot money rushes out. This money is likely to head to the U.S., which will just strengthen the dollar even further. The risk to this prediction is another massive stimulus program from the Chinese government, if it decides that inflation is a better option than unemployment. Theme number three is the exit of Greece and Portugal from the Eurozone. That would effectively end the monetary union. The European Central Bank could avoid this outcome, at least for a little while, if it buys the debt of these peripheral nations in large quantities. Theme number four is an expansion in the United States. Even though U.S. growth will likely be below capacity, it will still lead the other industrialized nations. And because everything is relative, U.S. stocks will outperform other equity markets. The fifth theme for 2012 is a slide in commodities. The commodities price index is already falling, and I believe it will decline another 30% from its current levels as demand from China slows. Of course, as I mentioned earlier, this could change if China floods its banking system with money. My sixth prediction is that emerging markets will get clobbered in 2012. China's slowdown will combine with the European sovereign debt crisis to starve the emerging markets of credit, and their stock markets will get hit hard on contagion risk. And finally, I predict that U.S. Treasuries will hold up. They'll remain supported by three factors. Their safe haven status amid slowing global growth, deflation as global debt liquidation intensifies, and baby boomers shifting more and more assets to low-risk investments. But as with many other themes, a QE3 program by the Fed could derail this emerging trend. The question is, will governments allow the markets to work properly and clear some of these massive imbalances? The push for austerity on both sides of the Atlantic argues that they will, and we'll see a deep sell-off in the asset markets. But if politicians do all they can to preserve the old order, they could keep financial assets inflated a bit longer. In the end, I think the invisible hand of the market wins. I'm J.R. Crooks for Money Markets TV. Thanks for watching.